Now, it takes billions of years to produce a natural a diamond, but a laboratory can grow one in a days. And, of course, to the untrained eyes, almost looks as good as the real thing. Thing. Now, in an attempt to protect its reputation, De Beers has developed a technology that can spot the difference. For De Beers, telling the difference is fundamental to protecting its reputation as a world's leading diamond producer. The company holds roughly 30% share of the market for genuine rough diamonds. You know, a synthetic is a, is a man-made product. It's not a gem. It's not a beautiful product. It's not about... Um, love and affection and emotion and it's not unique and it's not mysterious and that's everything that a diamond is and very important to uh, those people that, that buy diamonds. Synthetic diamonds sell for an estimated 30% less than the real thing. They have no investment value so any unscrupulous retailer passing off the man-made as natural would be committing fraud. Our concern, to be honest, is not demand for synthetics. Demand, there is no clear demand for synthetics. Our concern is undisclosed synthetics that are pushed into the natural pipeline. And that's our concern and what we're determined to make sure that both the trade and then consumers can always be confident they're buying a natural diamond. Two techniques are used. High pressure, high temperature involves dissolving carbon, usually in the form of graphite, in a molten metal at a very high temperature and exerting pressure. The second method, chemical vapor deposition, mixes a hydrocarbon such as methane and hydrogen in a vacuum chamber and introduces a seed diamond around which multiple diamonds can form. In both cases, the resulting structure differs from the natural shape created over billions of years. Um, we have looked at many samples um, that have been grown within our research program um, and they're always spotted on here so they look even these are HPHD synthetics the CVD synthetics can be orange fluorescing with striations um, they can be a turquoise color but then they still have certain growth steps that we can see so they can look different but they've all got certain synthetic characteristics that we can pick out over the last 20 or 30 years I would estimate it to be not far off 30, 40 million. I mean, it's significant funds that have been put into this. And when you think of the fact that we have, you know, 60, 70 scientists today here in the UK working in this area, um, it's continuous. You know, we as a, as a diamond business have to dedicate resource, significant resource to maintaining confidence. It's vitally important. So that's why it makes commercial sense to us and to the whole industry. The Beers itself has a unit that makes synthetic diamonds, but only for industrial usage, such as drilling and cutting. All the rough diamonds De Beers sells for jewellery are real. Leslie Marungu, CCTV.